Hello, this is the second video in a series covering live CDs. You may have also heard them referred to as rescue discs or boot discs. Live CDs are very useful for technicians when they are working on a computer that won't boot into Windows or if a system is so badly infected with viruses that typical antiviruses can't effectively remove them. Live CDs are also great for password resets or recovery, data recovery, and diagnostics. In this video I'm going to show you Kaspersky's Rescue CD. And the way the live CDs work is if you had it in the CD or DVD drive, restarted your computer, when the computer restarts it's going to boot into the live CD. If it doesn't boot into the live CD you may have to go into your BIOS and set your boot device as a CD or DVD player. And for this video I'm running Windows 7 Professional within VirtualBox and I'm going to restart the operating system. One thing I want to mention is when it boots into the live CD, you have 10 seconds to hit enter or to boot back into Windows. So I'm going to hit enter now. I'm going to leave the language as English and hit enter. I'm going to press 1 to accept the license agreement. And now I have a few options. I could run Kaspersky in graphic mode, in text mode. I could view hardware information. I could boot from the hard disk, which would boot back into Windows. I could reboot and boot back into Kaspersky. So I'm going to leave graphic mode selected and I'm going to hit enter. When it first boot in, it establishes a network connection. And then the antivirus will pop up. And the first thing I do is go to my update center and click on start update. And while the antivirus is updating, there's a folder up top called C. If you open that, this would give you access to the hard drive and to your Windows files. From here I could open users and right now I have one user in the Windows 7 Professional and that's Win 7 Pro so if I was open this I created a few folders for this video to show you how this works. I could go to documents here's the two folders I made test folder and test folder 2 so if I wanted to if I was wanting to retrieve these two folders I could highlight them copy them and then paste them into a USB flash drive or an external hard drive so this is a good way of recovering your documents your pictures your videos whatever you had saved in Windows that you can't get to now and the virus scanner is finished updating so I would go back to object scan I would select the areas that I want to have scanned and then right here I would click start object scan it will begin by loading its database and then I'll start scanning. Also with the disk you have file manager which again will give you access to all the files on the operating system. There's a web browser and down in the corner if you clicked on the blue start button you have all those options also in here along with screenshots and network setup there's also the Kaspersky registry editor where you could edit the registry if you needed to and the best thing to do is to download this burn it onto a disk and play with it to learn what you can do with it thank you for watching have a great day